Hello and welcome to Help Day Wednesday. My name is Lena Dolter, Love and Relationship Coach, and every Wednesday you can find me here giving you my top tips on how to create the love that you desire and deserve. And today I want to talk to you about break, how to get over a breakup. I talk to so many women who are stuck from a past breakup, from a, from a hurt. And I want to share with you an example of a friend of mine who was recently heartbroken by a man in her life. They were dating for quite some time, over a year, and this everything's going great, right? She's happy. She's having fun. She feels that love for this man. He feels, she thinks he feels love for her. And then one day, he's gone. He left the relationship and it left her in so much pain. But here's the thing, my friend is not really great at allowing her feelings to flow. And you might be able to relate. Like when you get really heartbroken, it might be really hard for you to really feel the pain of that breakup. And part of the reason why is because pain doesn't feel good, right? But au contraire, the pain is actually what brings you forward to break through to the other side, to know that what you really want is out there and that you really deserve it. And so if you are that woman who is stuck in the pain of a breakup, your first step is to really let yourself feel the pain. Now that might look like crying a whole hell of a lot. It might look like journaling so that you can get out any pain, anger, disappointment, frustration, feelings that are bottled up inside of you that are keeping you blocked from the love that you really desire. It might look like taking a pillow or a blanket and tossing it on the floor, like really letting out the energy of anger and betrayal. So step one of getting over a breakup is feeling the pain of the heartbreak. Step two, a lot of women connect with the man and the qualities that this specific man had. And so it makes it even harder for them to break the ties of moving forward. And so what I want you to do in step two is forget about the man. I mean, he was there, obviously, and there were some great things about him. Focus on the qualities that brought you joy within the relationship. So what were the qualities that you find yourself missing, that you find yourself really desiring? Those are the qualities you want to focus on as you put yourself back out there to date again and be attracted to and attract in men with those specific qualities. So let's say it's playfulness right? Like playfulness is important to you. Then you want to focus on play and why play is important to you and why that makes you happy. Step three, you might have guessed, is get back out there. You have to get back out on dates. Holding yourself up in the house without going out on dates is not going to help you get over your ex. It's going to prolong the pain that you are not feeling if you have yet to do step one, and it's going to keep you, again, it's keeping you from the man, from the love, from the relationship that ultimately you desire. So to get over a breakup, you need to, one, feel fully the pain and the heartache of the person that let you down. Number two, focus on the qualities that you enjoyed and made you feel good in the relationship, not the man. Focus on the qualities. And step three is to get your tushy out there and start dating again. From the energy that you are creating, the man in which you want to attract into your life. Focusing on the positive aspects, positive qualities that you desire and deserve in your man. That's it for this edition of Help Day. If you have any suggestions or things you need help with for Help Day, Email me at lenalovecoach at gmail.com. Let me know how I can help you. Until then, make it a day full of love.